YouTube, what it do, dude, it is your boy, Acapella Bully. So please turn up the volume so you can understand me fully. And the name of the channel is Pokemon and Sneakers, Pokemon and Sneakers. Turn up the volume so you can feel me coming through your speakers, man. Today, you see the box, you see the classics. Ain't been released since 2016. That's what I'm talking about, man. They back like they never left. Size 12. Grown man foots. Y'all already know what's going on with that. I mean, these mine. These mine. Reebok underneath that box. Loving, loving, Mick, loving the blue box. Oh, super duper OG aesthetics on here. Nostalgia, whatever you want to call it, with the hole in the box. Yes, sir. The pullout box. Yes, sir. The drawer opens. I'm loving this OG. 1996, 1997. Nostalgia right here. Taking you way back. Unlike the uh, 2016 release. They giving you all the OG feels. They really taking you back in time. One time for your mind. And I'm loving, I'm loving, I'm loving more and more that these are actually sitting. You know what I'm saying? I did get these on sale for about a hundred ten stripper ones, something like that. But I give y'all the blue toe. OG original guys. Reebok question, man. <laughs> yeah, big cues on the back. Big cues on the back. Beautifully beautiful. Stitched three on the bottom. Heel tab. Looking good. Looking great. The uh, I would say in comparison to the 2016 version. That I sold a few years ago. Um, it seemed like the 2016 version. The toe box. Wasn't this slanted like this. It was more pushed in. Like it was more like a L shape. So this one they kind of rounded out the. The uh, the foot. The top of the foot part. Which is cool. Don't take nothing away from the sneaker. At the end of the day. Got your Hexalite blues on here. Looking good. Looking great. Reebok up the side. Reebok logo up this side. On the here on the uh, lace locks. Beautiful, beautiful tongue netting right here. Straight up the railroad tracks of the sneaker. Nice thick laces, feeling exactly like that good nylon um, threading to be on the basketball net. Good leather on the back tab. Leather on the side. Leather all around the Reebok logo. And I must say, man, now that we got the Blue Toes releasing this year, I will, well, they came out last year, but I would not be surprised that it's only right they do the Red Toes with, with the leather on the toe, not the suede. The Red Toes need to come out next. Reebok, if you're listening, you know what I'm saying? We need the Red Toes like these. Because back in 2016, they did release the Blue Toes first. And then later on that same year, they released the Red Toes. And I had both pair. It was a must cop. But that was before I was um, real heavy into YouTube like I am now. I really wasn't recording nothing. A lot of shoes and OGs I copped, you know, was all personally. You know what I'm saying? The, the internet world did not know what I was copping. That I had copped anything. I've had these shoes now. This year for about three weeks. Keep it all the way 100 with you. Um, but, you know, I've just been doing Pokemon stuff. Been doing other reviews. And it's time. it was time for these today. Every sneaker has its day. Believe that. That's big facts. Every sneaker has its day. And today is my boys, the OGs, day. I will be playing these hey, real heavy this summer. I'm going to double up. I'm going to double up for the simple fact. I know... Every time I get my Reeboks, I beat them. I wear them every single day. 
especially in summer times. I just love the comfortability. I love the durability of the shoe. Um, I love the icy blue soles. So I, I really, really wear because I really, really love my Reeboks. Y'all know that. If you've been following me on this channel for the past three years, you're going to know and going to see a lot of Reebok action get played on here. Because I do love my sneakers. I do love my uh, Reebok sneakers the most. Y'all know Iverson, my favorite. Um, the Reebok question is one of my favorites. Um, besides the Patrick Ewans, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, these these get wore a lot. So, and, uh, and understanding to that is, um, that's the reason why I got to double up. Because I'm going to rock this pair a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all what they looking like at by the end of the summer. And then I'm going to show y'all the uh, the new pair. Because I want to double up. Because they are sitting real heavy. They are on sale real heavy. And it's only right. It only makes sense. Especially with the with the OG Nostalgia box. Instead of the, the regular black and, um, black and copper box we normally get with our questions. These are just amazing, man. From the tongue. Leather on the tongue. Leather... Majority on all, like 90% of the shoe. The blue toe box. The white stitching Q on the back. And the three on the back. And what else? The other biggest reason they're always loved and respected Reebok, man, as, as a business is because, you know, arguably, and this is just my opinion, they do make the best quality shoes. With the most affordable price. Let me say that again. They make. In my personal opinion. They make. Some of the. Best quality shoes. At the most affordable price. I'm just going to leave that where it's at. Where I said it at. And y'all can run with it. How y'all want to run with it. But. That's my personal opinion. And you see. With this being an OG. Re-releasing. They really brought the OG aesthetics. They really put out all the stops from the packaging to the sneaker to really take you back in time to the 90s when uh when Iverson, you know, got this deal and this was his first sneaker, his first signature sneaker. Like they really, really wanted to take those OG people who those OG sneaker heads who was there that, you know, in that time. Yeah, I was born, but I, I, I was too much of a kid. I, I was a little kid back then. I probably was like literally only. Shoot, maybe seven, eight years old when 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 Iverson uh, got in the game. So I didn't know nothing about basketball. All I knew was go outside and play. And, and, and damn, first grade, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was a child. I didn't know nothing about the world yet. But um, as I got older and got into sports, you know, basketball, football, things of that nature, and did some do did some research and some history, and got to know who was whose and what was what. Iverson definitely became my favorite. Um. Basketball player and then the silhouette of the sneakers, you feel me? So it, it it's just it's just amazing that uh Reebok didn't miss anything when uh, when it comes or came to them pulling out all the stops to recreate that time that moment in time for these sneakers. And I highly appreciate Reebok. Salute you. you now I'm saying salute the Iverson and everything. These are these are these are amazing. They just they just exactly. Well, like I said, besides this part of the uh, sneaker, there's really no difference between these and the 2016 release. You know what I'm saying? I sold that pair. I sold the red pair after I had beat them up. I sold them like maybe in 2018. You know what I'm saying? I think I sold them off in 2018. And they they was pretty uh pretty much beaters at by that point. And, um, you know, I sold them to somebody for a real, real low price. Because I knew one day eventually, you know, these would be coming out. Um, and I'm glad cause I knew I was going to cop. I didn't know they would sit. I thought I really thought these would sell out because, you know, a lot of people who, who are uh, fans of Iverson or fans of the Reebok question in general, um, they love these. I thought these was going to sell out, man, especially with the special packaging. You know, I thought that would add some nice nostalgia effect to push the sneaker out more. But they probably just released so many that if you, you know what I'm saying, if you want them, you're going to get them. And then they sat around, they on sale. So if you still want them, you still can get them. Still full side runs out there. And I ain't I ain't sleeping. These are my boys. These are my dogs. Um, they're just a comfortable shoe. I just love them. And that's what it is, man. Reebok question. You feel me? The greatness. The greatness, the greatness. Um, the red hints. 
the red back here behind the uh the lace lock. I don't know if y'all can see it on cam. There you go. The little red right there. The red outline stitching on the Reebok logo. Like I love the little hints of red. The majority all over white sneaker. Uh, the blue. You know what I'm saying? The blue hints. The icy blue bottom. Beautifulness. That deep blue, uh, deep blue C Reebok logo. Reebok down the middle of the shoe. You know, Hexalite uh, technology in there. Whatever, however you want to call it. And just, they just executed the sneaker real, real, real well. And I can't wait to see if they're going to drop the red pair. You know, the red toes. I know next week, March 16th, I can write this down. They are dropping the orange toes. Um, I think it's going to be suede on the toe, but it's just like this except orange. And it's going to be suede on the toe box. Um, I will be getting those. I will be reviewing those for y'all as well, of course. Um, any, any really... Reebok question that comes out you no know, further throughout this year 2023 I will have on the channel for y'all we'll review for y'all um a little backstory about those uh the re the uh, Reebok answer DMX is the red and white ones I was supposed to show y'all when that little bamboozle situation happened with uh Dick Sporting Goods I will be getting that sneaker in probably by this weekend if not um you know, earlier this week, well, later on this week, because, uh, you know, I, I, I gotta have that sneaker. I'm, I, I love that sneaker a lot. I had it back in 2018 when it released and I gotta have it, uh, again, you know, double up. Y'all seen the black ones that the video was up. That whole video was up when I was about, to, I reviewed the black, uh, answered Reeboks first. Then when I went to open the box and review the red and white pair, it was bamboozled. Y'all go watch that video, man. It was some whole BS going on. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to bring them out. And, um, uh, because those, those are another iconic Iverson sneaker that I love to death. And I'm glad they came back out again with that. I mean, I don't care if, if they drop the same sneaker release every six months, every year, two years, five years, whatever. I'm going to be there if I like it. And I'm going to copy it. I'm going to rock it. And if it go on sale, I'm going I'm to I'm still copy it and rock it. I'm going to double up on it because... That's just that's just the that's just what I like. It's kind of do what I am, you know. I'm buy what I like, just like you buy what you like with your hard earned money, just like me. So, at the end of the day, we gonna do what it do, and I'm gonna bring y'all the review. <laughs> Bars, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do what it do and bring you a review. Bars, cause that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that over here on Pokemon and sneakers, Pokemon and sneakers. You dig? So yeah, man, go ahead if you rocking with me right now, man. Rock with your boy for these uh